Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip, I'm gonna show you how to create a faux stop motion paper crumble effect using the puppet position pin tool in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. For the composition settings, I use 1080 by 1920, 12 frames per second, seven seconds in duration. The first thing I did was add one of my graph paper textures. On top of the graph paper, I added a logo, went to the effects and presets panel, did a search for hand, dragged the hand drawn effect right on top of the logo, and now we've got some animation on the logo. Cool. I then pre-composed the graph paper and the logo so I could animate them together by selecting them both, right clicking, pre-compose, check move all attributes into the new composition, give it a name, click OK. Drag the CTI or the playhead to the beginning of the timeline or to wherever you want the animation to begin. Go up to the toolbar and click on the icon for the puppet position pin tool or use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control P. You'll see the cursor turns into this little thumbtack icon and then you're just gonna click to add points or pins. The pins are gonna serve as the handles that we grab onto to crumble the paper just like you would a real piece of paper. So just add pins to wherever you think you might wanna crumble the paper. If you are not seeing the pins and you want to bring them back on your composition, just twirl open the layer, twirl open effects, and just select puppet, and then you should see all the pins that you've added. When you add pins, you are also adding keyframes wherever the CTI of the playhead was. I'll tap U to reveal all keyframes. You will see in the layers panel, there are all the pins we've added, and there are all the keyframes. So what we'll do is just move the CTI forward, make changes by dragging on the pins, and we'll just continue this until we create the animation. Now I'm just gonna move the CTI forward in time by five frames. I'll press Command on a Mac, that's Control on Windows, and I'm just gonna tap on the right arrow key five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm simply just going to pull in. We are just pretending that we are crumbling a piece of paper. Now I'm gonna move the CTI forward another five frames. So command or control, one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm just gonna finish this by trying to get the paper into kind of a tighter ball. Okay, so here's what we just created. Pretty cool. Now I also want the paper to fall to the bottom and kind of rotate off. So I'm just gonna drag the CTI in between the last two keyframes. I'll bring up the position property by tapping P. I'll also bring up the scale property. So I'll hold the shift key and tap the letter S. And then finally, I'll bring up rotation with the shift key still pressed, I'll tap the letter R. I'm gonna make a keyframe. I'll move the CTI forward a little bit. Now I'm gonna animate the position. I'm just gonna drag this down. While I'm dragging down, I'm gonna change the rotation and I'll make it smaller. Move the keyframes closer together to speed up the animation or further apart to slow things down. I'm also gonna select the keyframes for the position scale rotation and tap F9 to give them easy ease. And to reverse the animation, I'll duplicate the pre-comp layer by selecting the layer. I'll press Command or Control D to make a duplicate. But on the duplicated pre-comp, I'm gonna right click, go to time, time reverse layer. And once I do that, you'll see all of the keyframes go to the end since it's reversing the composition. So all I'm gonna do is just drag a selection over those duplicated keyframes and just adjust the keyframes between the two pre-comps to get the timing the way you like it. For finishing touches, I downloaded a song from Epidemic Sound, opened it up in Adobe Audition, and I just made a small selection of the audio that just seemed to loop over and over again. I then recorded a paper crumple sound effect by taking a piece of paper and just crumbling it in front of my microphone and recording it in Audition. I then added one of my animated crayon textures from Terrapin Textures, and finally, I added an adjustment layer with the transform effect. I added the wiggle expression on the rotation property to give it some camera shake. I added the CC vignette effect, also added wiggle to the amount to give it a little bit of a flicker. I added noise and roughen edges. And that is how to use the puppet position pin tool to create a faux stop motion paper texture animation in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. And my name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.